Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube video thumbnail using the free image editor, The Gimp. So using this picture of the coastline, I'm going to make a thumbnail for my upcoming video, A Day at the Beach. The first step is to crop the image. Let me explain why. Most cameras take photos in an aspect ratio of four by three. This means there are four units of width for every three units of height. On the other hand, YouTube videos generally use a wider aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Expressed in terms of pixels, a high definition video is 1920 wide by 1080 high. So we need to crop the middle out of our four by three image to make it fit a 16 by nine frame. To do this, go over to the toolbox and click on the crop tool. In the tool options, you can see this setting which allows you to fix the aspect ratio. Enable it by ticking this checkbox. And then in the text field, delete the existing value and type 16 colon nine. Now you can go to the image and start dragging out your crop area. So I'll just get it here. And of course you can always reposition it by dragging it upwards if it's in the wrong place. Now to complete the crop, just press enter. Great, so now it's in the right aspect ratio, but it might not be the correct size. If you've used a 10 or 20 megapixel photo, the crop area is likely to be much larger than 1920 by 1080. To resize it, go to the image menu and click scale image. Make sure that the width and height are linked. You can see that the little links of the chain are joined up and then type 1920 for the width. When you tab down or click in the height box, it should change to say 1080. Then click scale and congratulations, the first stage is done. Now I'll show you how to add text to the image. You've probably noticed that if you put text against a multicolored background, it can be very difficult to read. But if you add a translucent background behind the text, it makes it a lot more legible. To accomplish this effect, go to the layers panel and click on the plus button down the bottom to add a new layer. Give it a name of text background and make sure it is set to fill with transparency. With the new layer selected, go over to the toolbox and click on the rectangular select tool. Start dragging your selection slightly outside the boundaries of the picture, just to make sure that the background goes all the way to the edges. Once you're happy with the selection, go to the toolbox and make sure that the foreground color is black. Then simply go to the edit menu and click fill with foreground color. So we've got our background, but it's way too dark. You can fix that by going back over to the layers panel and adjusting the opacity of the layer, this little slider here. So I'll bring it down until I think it looks good at around that point there. Great, let's add the text. Click on the text tool and then drag out a box that roughly matches the area of the background. When you start typing, you'll notice that a new layer is created and its name will automatically update. A day at the beach. Now let's format the text. You need to select all of the characters like so, and then go to the toolbox and click on the center alignment button. You can change the font size and color by using the pop-up dialog that appears above the text field. So we'll just make it quite a bit larger. And then I'll change the color by clicking on the color swatch. I want it to be white. I've also noticed that the text is not vertically aligned with respect to the background. So I'll go to the move tool and I'll just nudge it up and down a bit until it's roughly in the center. And we're done, we've made a thumbnail. To save it, go to file, export as. I'll just give it a name. I'll call it quite appropriately my thumbnail. And remember that YouTube has a file size limit for thumbnails. So you wanna set the quality a little bit lower, maybe to 80 or something like that. Cool. Hey, I'm Handy Andy, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching.